drive around town has kept me moving. I drive around town has kept me safe. I began my pursuit of the eastern gray squirrel on a Saturday in early November around midday. The eastern gray is by far the most majestic of the North American species, and I have yet to capture one. I saw two squirrels right at the beginning of the day, quickly followed by a third. As soon as this one sensed a threat from me, he took immediately to the tree. I know that you're stuck downtown. This male looks to be about two years old, so he's seen winters before. Just stay for one more round. Let me explain. A drive around town has kept me moving. I watched him hop about playfully for a little while, and then I became hungry, so I ended the first day here. Gray squirrel nests are well camouflaged leafy bundles, but when the trees are bare like this, it's easy for the trained eye to spot one. I began the second day by inspecting one such nest. And are you wondering? I was unsure of my first assessment, so I decided to take a second pass. Like me, and it's all of you. Looks like nobody's so home. Right. And move on. I tried a second nest. There was something special about this nest that made me want to investigate further. The tree eventually proved to be an insurmountable obstacle to the investigation. Here I found evidence of the squirrel's characteristic hoarding behavior. Unfortunately, there are no squirrel nests nearby. Gray squirrels have disdain for evergreens, unlike their northern cousins, the Canadian ducks. I was beginning to lose hope of spotting a squirrel when my trained eye spotted this one from a distance. Upon closer inspection, it's a juvenile female feasting upon a discarded pumpkin. Like the squirrels from the day before, she takes to the tree as I approach. That shadow follow you, babe. Clearly agitated, here you can see her angrily flicking her tail in an attempt to dissuade me from my investigation. This angry tail flicking behavior is characteristic of the Eastern Greys. I wanted her to calm down, so I spent some time investigating what she'd been chewing on. It's common for the Eastern Grey to eat pumpkins after the annual November 1st pumpkin smashing competition. When I trained the camera back on the squirrel, she seemed to have calmed down enough to eat. I never did capture an Eastern Grey, but I was happy with just having watched them frolic about. I ended the second day with the understanding that the squirrels will keep to the trees from now on, and I'll keep to the ground, them in their world, and me in mine.